Hey, my name is Nico and this is my story. One of the biggest challenges for me throughout my entire life has been my health. We were moving from the first home that we lived in when we left Jamaica and we were moving into a new place. As we were moving the things from the old house into the new house, I remember I picked up like this little clay pot thing, but it was really, really heavy for me at the time. And I remember I was walking up the stairs with it and I guess I tripped or it was too heavy for me and like the weight kind of pulled me down and I hit my shin really, really hard on the steps going into the house. The size of that bruise was something I had never seen before in my entire life. I was actually diagnosed with a disease called ITP. My body would attack its own platelets and because of that, I was always at an increased risk of bleeding out from the simplest things. A normal person's platelet range is anywhere from 150,000 to 400,000. And when I was younger, I remember that there were times where my platelet count would go down to seven, nine, 11. And that's actually really, really dangerous because you can die at that point. I remember one particular incident where I was laying down in my bed and I woke up in the middle of the night and the whole bed was covered in blood. I mean, blood everywhere, blood covering the pillows, the sheets, everything. So I woke my parents up and they rushed me to Brookdale Hospital and they actually said, there's nothing we can do for you. Um, I, I remember I, I was just in so much terror and fear and shock. So this fear just built up in me and I'm just like, I'm going to die. I remember sitting down in the hospital bed and I was just crying my eyes out and I'm literally listening to the doctor say to my parents, there's really nothing we can do for your son. So it was a lot that I had to deal with. We were trying to look into some um, treatments for me and you know, I used to get this medication when I went to Brookdale Hospital. And the bad thing about it was that the side effects of this medication were absolutely terrible. Um, I remember I would get migraine headaches and I would get terrible nosebleeds. Um, I'd bleed so much even while I'm taking this medication that the blood would go down into my stomach and I would then vomit that blood back up. I can't even count on my fingers how many times I literally felt like I was going to die as a young boy. So eventually we ended up going to Mount Sinai Hospital in Manhattan. And when we started going to Mount Sinai Hospital, they started a new course of treatment for me with a new kind of medication. I was happy because I did get to miss school, but even in the midst of that, I had to fight another battle because I was bullied severely as a young boy. You know, everybody looked at me as the, the weird kid, the kid that was always sick, the kid that was just quiet and kept to himself. Um, didn't interact with anybody, but nobody really understood the severity of the disease that I was battling. But after all of this, I realized that God was building strength in me. Um, I know I didn't go through all these battles for no reason. And I know that God had a plan and a purpose for my life, and he would not allow these things to take me out before my time. So going back to my story, um, I started going to Mount Sinai Hospital and taking this new medication and my body responded well to it. Um, and eventually my hospital stays started to decrease. So instead of being in the hospital literally every month, I would now have to go to the hospital probably every two months or every three months. And eventually, you know, it started to slow down until it'd be four months, five months, so on and so forth. So then came a time when I thought I was good. You know, I thought I was healed. I, I hadn't gone to the hospital in a long time. I wasn't getting any nosebleeds. I wasn't getting any bruises all over my body. I, I had no signs or symptoms of this disease. So I thought that I was good. Um, you know, I started playing sports. I started playing basketball. And, you know, I, I started to live a somewhat normal life but then it came back. I started getting the spots on my body again. I started having nosebleeds. I started feeling fatigued all the time. And I ended up going to the hospital and they checked my platelet count. Now mind you, this is after not having gone to the hospital in a really long time for this disease. So I get to the hospital and, and they check my platelet count and my results came back at 9,000. Now remember, the normal range for a healthy person is 150,000 to 400,000, and mine was at nine. So in the doctor's minds, they're like, no, we have to admit you immediately. 
but I said, I, I, I don't want to stay in the hospital. Just can I go home? You know, I'll come back. You test it again, see if it goes up or if it goes down, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes from there. Now, they said, um, we can keep you here. We could keep the IV in your arm so that we won't have to stick you again to give you medication. I said, no, I'd rather just go home. So I went home, and they called me. They said, your results came back a little higher. I think it went up to like 12 or 15, some, something like that. Um, so I went back one more time and they checked my blood and I remembered almost the exact words were your platelets are going up but they're going up way too slowly and this is not a sign that you're recovering this is a sign that there's something seriously wrong so I said to them that's okay I said take my blood I'm not gonna stay in the hospital I'm gonna go home and you know, same thing, you could call me again in two, three days, however long it takes, and let me know what my results are. So I went home and I remember my mom saying to me, you know, pack your video games, pack your clothes, because I know for sure you are gonna be admitted into the hospital. And I said, no, I'm not. Two days later, I will never forget, I was on the L train on my way to work. Um, and I get a call from the doctor's office and they said, you know, Mr. Brown, we have your results for you. And I said, all right, what is it? So you can imagine at this moment, my heart's like beating out of my chest. And they say to me, um, your, platelet re your platelet results have come back and they are 223,000. And at that moment, I just said, thank you, doctor. And I had to get off the phone and I had to praise God right there in that train station because that is a miracle. That is medically impossible. He showed me that he is my healer and his word is true. He healed me of a disease that has no cure. And I can say that now this is 2020. Well, it should be 2020 when this video comes out, but whether it's 2020, 2021, I have not been to the hospital for this disease in years. I have not had any symptoms of this disease in years. And I can firmly, firmly say that God healed me of a disease that has no cure. So if you're watching this and you're struggling in your faith life, trust me when I tell you, God is real, God is a healer, and there is nothing that is too hard for God. There is nothing that is impossible for God. All you need to do is put your trust in Him. He will bring you through. So my encouragement to you, if you're watching this video, just trust in Him. I'm Nico, and this was my story.